that a bird? Is that a balloon? Is that a plane? No, it's... Friend SMP episode 5! Guys, I really hope that intro worked. I don't know if the intro worked. Let's hope. So, in the last episode, we started doing the interior of this house, and we planned a street design, right? Well, I did a bit more work on the interior, as you could probably see. We only, like, touched here, but we built up a bit off camera. So, just like a house tour, we have a dining area. They will be putting a dining room here. We have a pool. Remember, this is my house. I can make it as funky as I want. I want to have a pool area in here, as well as a locker room. You know, we, we could use a place to put some storage, get rid of that uh, birch wood house up there. If you go upstairs, up here, I want to have like a living room. We're going to have a bookshelf segment here. If you come across into here, this is going to be my bedroom. We added a map plugin on our server, and I believe typical put this above our bed. Rambu, my beloved. Anyway, this is all considered my bedroom, although it's a really tight squeeze that I am going to have a hard time building in this, but we'll manage. We'll see what we can do. I want to build an enchantment room here. Anyways, if you come up here, I, I, we're going to need extra storage, right? So we're going to put like barrels or chests or something here. Just, you know, make it look nice. If you come back this way, though, we have a hallway. We have a, we're going to have like a little seating area. Just... Look at the view, coffee tables or something. Or maybe we could even put this as like a kitchen. Although it would be very hard to make food here. And then carry it down all these stairs. All these stairs for the dining area. However, I'm trying to put a kitchen in the dining room. Like a small one because I don't cook much. So cooking is not my top priority. Anyways, over here, we took a lot of trouble connecting it to the balcony, where you could see my iron golem. Look at him. Look at that beautiful guy. Bye-bye. Anyways, last but not least for our house, we have this area to work with. And obviously, we're not going to be touching this in today's episode, just because we still need to plan it and stuff. But I'm excited to see what I can do with this. Yeah. Anyways, this is not the only thing we've done off camera. If we come this way, we can get a bit by going this way. We added the mob heads off camera, guys. We have a couple different mob heads. You might be looking at me going, oh wow, look at those beautiful heads. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. What animal are they? This one, these two. Yeah, they're cats. We've killed 31 cats. That's pretty good, guys. That's pretty good. I have plans for today's episode. Oh, another thing I'd like to cover. I know I said today was going to be a world tour, but it's episode 5. Guys, our house isn't even completely done. Thunder's house isn't completely done. Uh, there's, there's really not much to show on the server yet, so... Maybe episode 10. Every 10 episodes we'll do a world tour. Let's see about that. That'll be really exciting. Anyways, first things first. Let's get on schedule, guys. might be asking yourself, Fire, why did you mine through all of 
this? Is this our mining montage for today? Yeah, well, no. No. <laughs> see, if we do a quick 180, and we look at that, you see that sweet, sugary goodness? Yeah, it is. Well, we need more of them. So what we're gonna do in today, or just at least now, is we need to make a bit of a sugarcane farm. What's wrong with that? Okay. So what I plan on doing is I wanna layer it, okay? Like, sugarcane, three tall, pushes, hits the water, goes into here, and gets carried by a water stream out there. We can make a... It's gonna be complicated. I don't know what we're gonna be doing with this lake. I hope we don't have to cover this up. Put a building here. We might tear that down, make this into a beautiful lake, put a cabin on the edge, make the cabin where we collect the sugarcane. I don't know. That's all plans for the future when we start designing. But we want to have modules, do 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 do, and they're five wide, so we can get a lot of sugar cane out of this. Now I'm gonna have to use the tutorial, meaning I can't show you how I build it on camera. But I'm gonna show you after the first module and explain it to you because I am a good content creator. See you there. All right, so here we have it. This is our farm. Goes two, three, boop. Lands in a soon to be water stream. Two, three, boop. Lands in the water stream. Sadly, I don't think all of them are gonna land in the water stream. The middle one, I don't know why. The middle one, just that time. Kind of but we don't really care if our farm is lossless. We just care about getting sugar cane while not doing anything. So we're gonna go with this design anyways and see where it takes us from there, you know? You know what? I've decided this is my own design of farm. I should teach you guys how to make it. That's right, I'm designing my own redstone farm. I know I said I'd use a tutorial, but I kind of just looked at a picture was like, oh, wait a minute, that's the exact same redstone we used for the sheep farm. We just used an observer and a one piece of redstone connected to like pistons or a dispenser. So this is my redstone design. So behind these blocks, is literally one redstone dust. So it goes doop, doop, doop. And then the sugar cane gets knocked. So from where it gets knocked, we're gonna put up another wall here. But like we're gonna put up a wall and then continue here. But first, one module at a time. To collect the system, each system is gonna need water. It goes into here. But it's going to be hard, it's not going to continue, so you're actually going to want to pick up your water. You, you gotta you gotta bring ice. That's okay guys, we, we have ice. We have ice. Doop, doop, doop. Put the pressure plate back, and put the water. And you actually want to put water here too. That's right. And along the side, let's just get to it first. Along the side for the collection system, obviously you don't want this to end, so you're going to cut out the last one, two, three, you're going to put ice, and the second to last one, or no, sorry, the last one you're going to cover it up, so it goes here, and then you... more water and as I said one two three take the last three put three of those cut off the last one Oof. this is a lot more efficient than I thought cut the last three put ice cut the last one off with the pressure plate and just regenerate the water and I'm gonna finish that off camera because I've, I've, show, I've shown you a lot of that. But basically, if you come here and you throw something in here, it's gonna get carried all the way here, and this reduces lag. What causes lag is all these needless hoppers. So we're actually trying to cut down on hoppers in our world. And I'm gonna get back to you. I need to build more of this. I need to show you guys my farm. All right, so we have our module back there, right? Uh, it's only gonna be four wide, and I'm gonna explain that to you in a sec. But the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, like, after digging your tunnel, you're going to want to make a segment like this. Can I have, can I have this? Thank you. Uh, okay. 
So to build, uh, we're gonna go over here. So to build this, you're gonna you're gonna need like these ships. This is my first redstone tutorial I've ever given, guys. So you're gonna need to like, make like giant U shapes. That's right. One of these is gonna be filled with uh, still water. This is the water that you're gonna be using to grow your sugar cane. Although it technically doesn't matter. You don't technically need this. I just think this looks more visually appealing because this will grow it. Skip. This will grow it, you know? So you don't technically need this. I like to put it. However, you do, however, need the flowing water. You need a pressure plate to stop it from this water stream. I'll explain that in a second. You need ice under here so it doesn't get stuck on here. Now the thing about this is this, this water stream needs to go all the way to the back with pressure plates and two just to keep it going. And it needs to, oh, look, it's already growing. It's already growing. And you need to take it all the way to the back, right? So basically, what's gonna happen here is it's gonna get shot, it's gonna fall in the water, and it's gonna go. This is not a 100% lossless farm, just letting you know. Sometimes the sugar cane will get stuck on the dirt. However, sometimes it might get stuck on here, so for that, we need to block this off. There's no spawning spaces for any mobs, as there's a pressure plate and sugar cane there. However, lastly, to build this, one second, we don't have any resources, I just realized, we can make one module, give us a sec, we're gonna go pick up a piece of redstone, shh, alright, so from here, as you can see, we started to block it off, but obviously I want to show you guys how I built it on camera, so we just cover this up, don't cover the top one. And the thing about this is, we're gonna put that there. We're actually gonna need to break this block. We're gonna put the redstone there, and we're gonna flip this around like this. We actually need more redstone, so we're not quite done, and we still need to come back here a bit and stuff, just to, you know, put the repeaters. We're not gonna cover this up just yet. However, this is literally all it takes. There. Three redstone. I mean, three sugarcane. Uh oh, how do I get back up? Uh, uh. Ooh. Okay, I. Pr okay. Shh. Yeah. So literally, we just take these three. One, two, three. And that can happen sometimes. Well, this will be covered up, right? Right? It does not like us today. There you go. There you go. See? I told you, it's not 100% accurate. But... We're not feeding an entire server with sugarcane, right? I mean, there's a sugarcane shop. Someone else can make a nice, powerful thing. This is just for me. Anyway, so that is how you build a module, and literally, you can just build that as many times as you want. I really hope I'm not forgetting anything, because this is my first tutorial, but I am going to get this built up, and guys, we got more of the episode. Wait, 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 to my non-redstoners, to my non-redstoners, before we go, uh, and continue. So, we saw earlier, or in the last clip, so like a second ago, that this group and it fell and it got stuck here, right? And y the non-redstoners of you might be like, oh no, I don't want to build that. But that's not going to happen because it's only this one that gets stuck right here. If we put it, like four of them here, this one would hit the water, well they'd all hit the water, but this one would hit this spot first. So it would stay here and it would be like bland, right? But then this one would also land in the water, go, they group together while getting pushed, and then get thrown in here and keep going. I promise you guys, this farm is going to work out great. We're going to see results later. What? Is that a chest? Just kidding, guys. We put down the chest. Guys, we need to make more money, and for now, we're not going to build an entire shop for arrows, so... Four stacks. Arrows. One diamond. Guys, we get arrows pretty cheap. Let's just plonk them 
and then we are gonna need to take some arrows with us. We don't have close putting. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Who's gonna miss that chest? Oh, going to going to find a cheetah shop. There's a chest in the corner. Let's go visit. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna make bank off this. I'm gonna make bank off this. Okay, guys, remember last episode how we started the road? I want to do that, and I didn't actually get any comments about which road then would work the best, so I've decided on, drumroll please, I would like to use the jungle, but I don't know how well that'll look, but it doesn't matter, I'm still deciding, like, do I want like a curvy thing, no, I want, I want like a straight road, right, we're gonna put cars on it, but we don't have any jungle wood, so give me a sec. We're gonna go looking for jungle wood. Okay guys, so we found ourselves in jungle biome, right? So, remember how Pearl has a shop? I believe I showed that on camera, yeah. He isn't really selling uh, jungle lobs all that cheap. Not only does he have almost no stock, but it's a diamond for 45, and guys, I don't wanna spend that kind of money. So we're here harvesting our own. We're not actually harvesting this right now for the logs. We're harvesting it for the saplings so we can take it home and farm it for ourselves. Oh no, we for- oh, 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 I just saw something drop. What is it? Oh, oh, oh! I don't think that's anything. We do gotta clear out the tree though. Look at how big these trees are with like everything. Okay. We're gonna get a ton of saplings and we're gonna get home. Yeah. Trust me. Okay guys, we're back at our sugar cane farm because there's something I really need to mention if you guys are gonna build this design. You always need to light it up. See, I uploaded uh, this one to TikTok to get more views and likes, right? And they told me if it's not lit up, your rates are, are gonna be worse. It seems to be all of our uh, paths are lit up, but just in the future, guys, if you are to build this design, light it up. Please just stretch. Okay, so it looks to be like it is all lit up. See? Yeah, okay, that, that one's lighted a bit higher. I don't think the last one is light, though. Yeah, see, it's because it's dark. There you go. Anyways, back to the, back to the episode. Alright, guys, remember this? Our locker room? Okay, so I want you to walk in and we put barrels up because it's like side storage. And then, if we did this, they're all facing the same way. They are... Do, 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 nope. This. No. Like this. You gotta work with me. Okay, whatever. Uh, if we just put four jungle plates along here, this could be like the mat where like you dry your feet off. And you can stand on them, you can use them as you will. You have two more here. And this is gonna be used later on. In terms of lighting, I have no food. The floor is made out of this because, like, it's a locker room. Water would get into wood, right? That wouldn't make much sense. But in terms of lighting, no mobs can spawn in here, anyways. That's it. Mobs can't spawn in there. I thought, oh, this is gonna get annoying real quick. Gee, that's not too bad. Standard, you could open that up. No, no, no. I, I like, I like what was cooking there. No, 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 other way, other way, other way. There you go, you can here, here, here. And guys, we have some basic swords set up. So I gotta get this filled in, but guys, yeah, we, 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 we kinda made a stack of barrels to put in like eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Guys, I think, <laughs> nah, I think we're gonna end the episode here. It's been such a pleasure making this. Sadly, we didn't get mm, to do 
everything we wanted, like starting the road design, but I promise next episode, next episode we will do a road design, we'll do another mining montage, because guys, we need more iron diamonds. We gotta be the richest member, you know? We gotta make that bling bling, we gotta make that money. But we have our first room built. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. I don't have any way to make a button, do I? Oh, I can do this. I can do this. Storage. Yeah. Alright. Off camera, I'm gonna get my stuff filled in, and I'll see you soon.